Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. First of all, a big thanks to all of you for your likes and comments. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you're getting ready for the uh, bumpy week we have uh, ahead of us. Um, lots of major news events. We're going to take a look at, at that as well. So uh, yeah, while I roll the into a disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys. Well, as I said, a uh, really bumpy week ahead of us and you see that on the calendar. We start uh, on Tuesday uh, with the first major event and that is um, consumer confidence from the US. Before that, we have uh, Governor Lowy to speak for the Aussie. CPI on Wednesday, quarter quarter for Aussie. Um, ADP uh, non-farm employment change from the US advanced GDP quarter and quarter. For the CAD we have the uh, rate uh, statement and overnight rate uh, to then after that have a press conference. Uh, a bit later we're going to have the FOMC statement and the press conference. The market is expecting a cut there. Uh, Thursday we have uh, the BOG, not expecting uh, much fireworks there, but still it is a monetary policy and a, a press conference to look at. And uh, on Friday, the non-farm payroll and uh, the uh, caxing manufacturing PMI from China, which is also very important. So as you see, a lot of news events, so you really, really need to plan your week uh, carefully this time. So, um, yeah, when uh, we uh, look at the charts here, we start with the Dixie as usual, and we are on the weekly time frame right now. We see that the Dixie did break strongly below this um, long term uh, trend line uh, on the weekly time frame. And um, looking left, there is actually not much uh, on the way until we reach this major support level down here. So, after this break on the weekly and the daily, I'm expecting. Uh, the dollar uh, to make some more correction and then to start uh, maybe continuing to the downside so um, I'm really keeping an eye around the monthly S1 and the 50% Fibonacci retracement at this area to see if we're gonna get any bearish evidence to then continue this uh, first impulse correction and then continuation is my main aim for the dollar if we look at oil, we see that oil did uh, break uh, out of the range last week. So uh, we've been talking about this range for a while. Now we have a break and we had uh, retest and possible continuation higher. Um, yeah, this mar these markings was after this fr first break. Uh, tell the guy uh, told the guys in my room that uh, now when we have a break, we should look for a flag in continuation. The flag was not so big. We had the a second uh, break another retest and continuation is ongoing so let's take these off for now and see what we have um, to work with uh, on oil for the next week so if we go down to the four hour time frame we have a clear break above this level we have a break above the 200 moving average on the four hour as well and it seems like there is uh, more room to the upside toward this area around the 58 59 level uh, first level that we should be watching for a possible buy the dip should be down here the broken structure this structure did not get tested after the break and uh, this level down here uh, is the level that you should be looking for uh, the possible continuation at so uh, by the dips especially a retest toward uh, 55 is the area that you should be watching on oil gold broke also out uh, of this um, channel here so uh, we had a, a strong break uh, last friday to then reach these previous highs and get rejected again now the um, the main idea here is to keep an eye on uh, gold at this level around the uh, monthly pivot point and the broken uh, channel even the broken horizontal structure here to see if that gonna hold as support if that is the case and you get bullish evidence here there is a possibility for another attempt to the upside from this level if we look at the daily time frame we have um, actually a pretty strong rejection up here at this level with um, a an inverted hammer 
so the bigger range is now uh, in play this is the bigger range that we should be looking at and uh, again uh, on the lower time frame as far as we hold above this area there is a possibility for one more uh, push to the upside unless we see the market collapsing totally back again below this um, below this uh, channel if that is the case that could signaling that we have a possible trap uh, here and uh, there is a possibility for continuation but as for now and since we have the break above we should be watching to see if it's gonna hold but if we see the market breaking back below and failing to go out uh, out of the channel again then you should keep an eye on this uh, counter trend line here to see if it's gonna break it and keep pushing to the downside okay so uh, i repeat keep an eye on this level for possible buy for now usd um i said last week we could expect some correction so if we look on the daily time frame we had a nice impulse to the upside and now we have a correction ongoing i'm uh, watching actually to see if we're gonna reach at least the 50 percent uh, retracement of this whole leg to the upside or if we're gonna reach the 618 which is uh, an even better level in my opinion that we have both uh, this neckline and we have this uh, higher low at this level that could be a possible uh, support area for um, euro so uh, first off 50 percent uh, fibonacci retracement is the level to watch and that is uh, this uh, area here where we also have the monthly r1 uh, pivot so watch this level first for possible continuation if no signals there then the main aim is the 618 and this structure down here to be a possible buy level sterling uh, as i mentioned in my previous weekly overview the uh, pair was losing momentum and we start having this um, ascending wedge with uh, divergence on the four hour bearish divergence <laughs> and i've been saying wait for a break retest and continuation we've got actually that we got the break we had a nice deep retest and there was a continuation still did not reach this level which is the first target and down here is target two if this area got broken so if you're holding a short your first target should be here if this area got broken you should target monthly r1 down here on this market as for now it seems possible yeah but this here could be uh, a trouble level okay so we go down to uh, uh sorry we go up the four hour time frame and we see that um a correction back toward this area could be a good level to look for uh, as a target and possible buy area for the bulls to start another attempt to the upside from this level usd jappy went sideways for the whole week and uh, holding still above this support level so uh, still holding above um 108.50 uh, 108.40 also is a good area so as far as that level uh, is holding as support uh, it uh, it is a possible buy on um, on uj so keep an eye on that uh, we had this first impulse and now we're having this correction the question is are we gonna see a, a break out of this uh, correction and continuation toward 1010 or not so uh, keep an eye on this as far as this area around 10840 uh, is holding as support there is a possibility for continuation to the upside here usd chief um daily time frame we had a nice um, move to the downside uh, strong one and we were looking uh, at this uh, broken level here uh, so we had this uh, broken level and we had the break we were looking for retest uh, or a correction and continuation as for now it did reach 618 all the way to the 200 moving average so it is at the level that i was expecting um, a um, continuation to the downside i went short here uh, and got stopped out so um, i'm still waiting for uh, more evidence again because uh, in my opinion as far as this high here is still uh, not broken this market could continue some correction and give us the, th the second extension so this was the first extension this is the correction and another extension is what i'm looking for so um 
what we could do here um, keep following this trend line and see if it's gonna get broken if that happens and we get a flag after that uh, a bearish flag we could uh, look for um, for a sell again so as for now uh, it's about uh, wait and see since um, we don't have uh, signals I went uh, short on a uh, sell uh, sell limit so for more con confirmation you need to wait for a better signal USD CAD nothing new here still looking to sell rallies I think uh, the market objective is surely to reach and tag these lows down here uh, uh, the way um, it looks now there is a big possibility that we reach that um, level the question is are we gonna see a correction before that or it will keep pushing to the downside so in any case as i said last week uh, we were looking for after the break for a retest and continuation we got the retest it wasn't so deep so it did a retest toward monthly s1 and this previously broken uh, minor level and kept pushing to the downside if you're holding a short you should um, take some profit down here because this may be a good support level for at least a bounce back to the upside yeah and if that is the case and we get the bounce to the upside you need to keep an eye on this level for a possible rejection back down once again Aussie USD uh, still to be considered uh, bullish here on this move on the four hour time frame with higher highs and higher lows we had a very extended move and I've been telling you guys look for a possible correction from this important area we didn't really tag the highs but we we have a, a correction that started already my first level to watch is the 50% uh, Fibonacci retracement and this broken neckline here we have these uh, levels that got broken watching this for a possible first level to buy at second level gonna be the 618 Fibonacci retracement so um, looking for buys here on this market uh, when one of these levels uh, or if one of these levels get reached and uh, we get some bullish evidence for New Zealand USD we were expecting um, a downside after uh, reaching a previous highs uh, we got the first one uh, on the second uh, move to the upside I told the guys in the room we have a possible right shoulder here and uh, that to watch this uh, trend line as soon as it breaks we look for a continuation to the downside we got a great trade on that one and um, took profit because soon we are at the um, kill zone so let me take this off uh, at the kill zone where we watching for a possible continuation to the upside so um, the kill zone is between the 50% and 618 Fibonacci retracement. Here we're gonna watch for a possible bullish evidence uh, for uh, for a possible uh, leg to the upside from this area. So keep an eye on that level um, to try a possible buy to the upside here. So uh, yeah, that was it for this week, guys. Thanks a lot. Once again, if you do like these videos, hit the like button. If you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe and uh, put on notification to get notifi notified every time I upload a video. Thanks a lot and see you next week. Bye-bye.